everybody and welcome to this week's video yes it is me HJP designs and today I'll be basically doing my five top moments from series 12 of Doctor Who um, but before we actually start the list I was wondering whether to add in what I didn't like but think about it the only thing I didn't like was the some of the writing wasn't Doctor Who for me. It, it's like the one uh, I think it was Practi Praxius and Orphan 55 seemed to not really grip me as in the other episodes did. Like the one with the Cybermen and the one where the Master were revealed and past episodes as well. They seemed to grip me more than this series and I think it is the writing and I think it does really let it down a bit but hopefully they've learnt their lesson and they won't do that next time and I know I was reading a lovely it was an interview with Chris Chibnall uh, it was, it's an old interview I didn't know it was done and he basically said he has a five year plan for Doctor Who um, so maybe what happened in the last episode starts well it starts the storyline for next next time uh, but it's, that should take us up to around about the 60th excuse me and then we'll see what happens then of course uh, most doctors do run about three to four series so maybe Jody will leave next series or not I don't know I don't really mind really whether she stays or goes but the one person who is leaving is Bradley Walsh and that's he says oh it, it, I mean it takes nine months of your life to film something like Doctor Who or whatever it takes quite a while and he said an interview the the um, the, the time it takes does get on, you know, take his toll. And he is, partly, he is nearly 60. But also, he's just been cast in a new... Uh, well, it's not really new, it's a remake of The Darling Buds of May. So, But there was also a rumour that Ryan might be leaving. So we could be losing two companions after Christmas, or maybe they're not even in the Christmas episode. I don't know. But... That is the news so far. Um, to get on with the countdown, so we're going to start at number five. Now, number five for me has to be the history episodes because I love history. I do. I all right. I may not loved history at school, but as I've grown up, I do start to enjoy it more. I think it's because of horrible histories, probably. But the history episodes for me are like they I, I like them because you get characters in there that probably not many people know a lot about so like uh, Lord Byron and Nicholas Tesla Tesla sorry and people like that people go oh who are they and then in the episode it does give a little bit of a background but then you can go and actually research them as well I I think there were okay in the history ones this like, this series, but my favourite has to be Rosa from last series. And I can't think what the episode was called. It was one with King James in it. They them two were my favourite last time. But no, the history episodes I do like. I, I do like it when they get history historical characters involved. And also you can see when say if they've done some big thing in the history like um, I don't know written a book or something to do with spies or something like that and the doctor goes well we can't change anything because it's going to change history like she said to Ryan in the um, in episode 8 she said if we destroy Kelly then all the words, all the books, everything will not be written and he might not be there. So it really does show you can't mess with history. So that was number five. 
Number four, now I have to think long and hard about this one because I did say in my last video that it was my favourite, but it's gone down to number four in the list. And that is The Matrix, which is not the film, it is the, the, the thing the Doctor was in on Gallifrey which you might have put her in to find out who the timeless child was. Now a lot of people probably think, oh Doctor Who got that from Matrix off the film. No, actually the Doctor Who Matrix was created first because I had a look. Um, but it's not really, the only bit I actually liked about the, I mean going back in, you know, going through the Time Lord's history and finding that timeless child, this, that and the other, that was good. But it was the bit where she realised who she was and then she basically blew up the matrix with her mind with all these memories of past doctors, past assistants, past monsters because if you do actually pause it now and then you can actually see. And I think that was much smashing because I do like it when Doctor Who get old, you know, reference to the past. I do enjoy that. Um, so whether they'll do more references to the past, I don't know. Okay, number three, and that has to be The Master. Now, that was a big reveal in episode one at the end, that O was The Master. Well, I felt, yeah, it was a big surprise because I didn't know he was coming back and it was like, what, okay. Sort of thing. And I didn't think he was going to come back for the last two episodes and that was a nice surprise but they kept it set. I love it when they keep secrets and since Chris Chibnall has taken over we don't know a lot about the episodes and of course we don't know when certain characters come back which I quite like because when other people did it we knew who was coming back, we knew this, that and other yet he has kept it hard close to his chest as they say. But um, it's like you say, you can't have Doctor Who or the Doctor, you can't have the Doctor without the Master. They're like, they're like uh, Tom and Jerry. They just fight against each other all of the time. And I think they probably have helped each other in the past. I remember John Sims in The End of Time, he did actually help the Doctor in a way he pushed Rash along back into the time war when they opened up that, that void. <coughs> so it was good to have him back and see his TARDIS. Now whether he will come back <coughs> in the next series or a couple of series on is another question. But I certainly did enjoy him coming back. Now for number two, we're getting there. Uh, number two has to be the Cybermen slash Cyber Master. Now, it was the design that did it for me this time. The design of the Cybermen, they looked more warrior like. You know, they had, all right, there was an odd feature of spikes on them, that was a bit odd, but they looked more warrior like. And you had <coughs> the lone Cybermen with two Cybermen from Russell T. Davis era. And then in the pods, when he opened them up, you had these cyber warrior sort of things. And their faces with the classic design on their faces, that was just, I, I really did enjoy them. I really did enjoy that episode, to be honest. Um, I think that's one of the episodes where you can actually sit there and go, yeah, that is Doctor Who. Many people didn't like it. Many people hated this series. Many people want it to be cancelled, but it won't be. It won't be cancelled. Um, until the BBC feel that it is time to cancel. So. But um, I really do feel that that episode um, and the Spyfall episode have to be my favourite this series, mainly because they were just so gripping and they cliffhangers as well. Um, they were good. <coughs> it's like I said at the beginning, it was the writing that did it for me. Don't bring politics into Doctor Who, it is, it just makes it so blooming bland, it really does. Um, 
also with the spy masters uh, I don't I liked them I liked them very much well, I don't think I've read a bad review about it it's mostly that the series is a bit awful but the spy masters the spy masters the spy masters sorry the cyber masters are basically cybermen well they're time lord bodies in cybermen casing their master created them and I quite like them the lovely design of the Gallifreyan on their faces and on their handle bits and you know I can't wait for these Cybermen to come out as a figure because they're going to look really really nice against the old cyber figures that we have got well that I've got so that was number two so last but not least I have saved the best till last I was going to go one to five, but I thought, no, I'll do it the other way. Because he needs a good old entrance. And that is, number one, Jack came back. What I mean by this is basically Captain Jack in episode five with the Jadoon, he came back. Mistaked uh, Badly Walsh for the Doctor, but it doesn't matter because he doesn't know she's a woman. But I thought that was Doctor Who. It gave me the excitement, the oh god Jack's back sort of thing, it gave me excitement. It gave me, okay how's he come back, where's he come from, what the hell is happening sort of thing, what Doctor Who, who should be like. And I do hope in the future, I know he said he would like to bring it back Chris Chibnall, I would like to see some other characters come back, possibly some classic ones like Joe Grant, K9, even Martha Jones. You could have Martha Jones. She appeared in Torchwood. So, but I really do think that is my favorite moment of series 12 uh, with Jack coming back. And I did think, I know he's doing it in a big finish, a, a big finish story. And that is, what is if they did a storyline with River Song, Jack and the Doctor. I mean, how good would that be? That's what I thought. I know they're doing that in a big finish story. I don't know if it's River I think it's Captain Jack's Lives, actually. I don't think it's the River Song Diaries. But, um, I, do you know, I think that could actually happen one day. But uh, that's all I've got. And that is uh, my five top moments from series 12 of Doctor Who and you know there are some good bits and some bad bits but Doctor Who will always be Doctor Who I will always watch it even if it's I don't know not as good as it used to be I will still watch it it's like it runs through you with a Doctor Who fan and I know a lot of people have <laughs> I was reading the other day a lot of people complained about the timeless child basically changing it this that and the other that William Hartnell's not the first it's like hang on have you actually seen the classics? There are there are mentions in that, like I said in my last um, video about um, there was a mention with Patrick Troughton's Doctor that the Doctor is not actually from Gallifrey, and then the Brain of Morbius, where they have a him and Brain of Morbius had like a fight with the, their own brains, and you see different incarnations of the Doctor which has actually been confirmed after so many years now. So I don't know what people are actually complaining about, but Doctor Who will always be Doctor Who. I'll always, always watch it and I'll always enjoy it. But uh, the only thing, like I said, I didn't like was some of the episodes and that was mostly um, Orphan 55. Even though the, the monsters were good in that, the drugs, they were very good in that. And Praxius, they did not do it for me this time, but I'm crossing my fingers that the writers have learnt their lesson and they do some smashing ones for next time. Of course, I am looking forward to Christmas with the Daleks. Whether it will actually be on Christmas Day or New Year's, I don't know. But they just said, that swear blind they said it was going to be on at Christmas. If it don't, I shall buy it. So, that's all I've got time for. Now I'm doing this new little thing now where I'm going to leave a little question, well it's more of a riddle at the end 
and I want you to comment the answer to the riddle in the boxes below <coughs> and I will be revealing the answer at the probably the beginning of the next episode episode <coughs> video and I will be basically reading out who anybody who's got it right so that's coming up shortly just a little game I thought we could play so to stay tuned for that all you've got to do is subscribe like and comment and stick on the bell to basically stay up to date with my videos and I will see you next time bye bye